It's been a hard night. The end is near. We have waited too long to choose King Gareth's successor. No one can convince the king to stop searching for his son and to give up hope that Walter might be reconciled to take his place as rightful heir. Walter is not coming back, Brother Osmond. If his majesty dies today, the land has no crown and no dragon to defend it. Unless, of course, you have evidence to suggest Drago might survive. I'm afraid not. The queen passed when her dragon died. A shared heart will always mean shared pain. And a shared death. Brother Osmond, I can count on your support. Counselor, shouldn't Drago choose a successor if the king cannot? Drago had his chance. We need a strong leader on the throne, and I am the best candidate. Perhaps you're right. Drago, I am honored by I your... did have my chance. We shared many adventures, built a castle into the sky, lived by the old code, and raised a new generation of dragons. Truly, he was exceptional. Through this unction, may the Lord pardon thee for whatever sins thou hast committed. Through this unction. Blessings be upon thee both in the hereafter. Of the king, it is certain, but in the matter of his son, I can't help but think that I let him down. His majesty never spoke a word against you. Yet I consider the rift in his family my greatest failure. <laughs> when I die, I will not be surprised if the great dragons in the stars turn my spirit away from a place among them. And what about the crown? Speak now before it is too late. for leaving you, but I must find out who it is. Let's go for a walk. Down. 
Sheriff! Blackmore's barricaded himself in the barn. Excellent. Blackmore, you are charged with murder and banditry within the Shire of Earl Robert Cole. I am, as you know, his sheriff. Ha! More like his ass, boy. <laughs> oh. Okay. What are you doing? Got to burn him out. Where's the fun in that? Just doing my duty. Here. Just doing my duty. For you. Oh, really? No, I, I can't. You. You're too kind. Thank you so You're much. Too kind. Couldn't do it without you. Couldn't do it. No way. No way. <laughs> my lord. Edric. Thank you. Couldn't do it without you. Well done, Edric. Oh, come along now. Profits will be up when that lock finally dangling from a noose. Oh, what's wrong, Henry? I see. Feel like you're being watched? Feels like I'm being judged. Stay behind me, my lord. Wait, I mean you no harm. Your dragons do nothing but harm. Edric the Mighty, is it? I'll admit you've got the strength of two men. Three. And a flair for showing off. Stand and fight, so I can end whatever sorcery you're using to see inside my soul. Maybe I'll just roast you. You see? A dragon's first impulse is violence. Just as my father taught me, you were born to kill, not to take care of us. Your father's teaching you lies. And now you speak ill of the dead. When I'm done with you, you will be begging Edric, son of Walter, for mercy. Walter? <sighs> Your father was Walter? You knew him. Your father was the only beloved son of King Gareth and Queen Ronu. But Walter had no interest in following the path of knighthood. Father. Though his father loved Walter, running a kingdom and helping me raise seven dragons took more time from the boy than he appreciated. Naturally, Walter took to his mother's Celtic independence. Let's do four together. <laughs> when tragedy killed the dragon with whom she was bonded, Walter was devastated. The king was away. I was going to bring him back, but before I could, your father had made up his mind. Get back! You say you're here to bring peace, but dragons have done nothing but take from me. He disappeared without a trace. We searched, but we never found him. Your father was heir to the throne. You are next in line. 